Today's air gunning video is brought to you from the studio of Papa T Adventures. We hope you enjoy. Hello family, welcome back. Today we're going to do our first shots, first thoughts for the Crossman 36200 year anniversary edition. So first, let's go check out those first shots. Here we go, get our first shots with the uh, 362 Anniversary Edition, uh, number 1120. Cock, a lot more cocking effort than the 3622, but I do see that it doesn't have the, the little screw in the, like people talk about. these at five pumps. Well, the fiber optic sight's real nice on this side. Operating the pumps, it's nice and smooth. We're not scaring the chickens this time. They probably appreciate that. <laughs> I feel like I uh, make more noise with the pumping than I do with the shooting. There's three. There's two more. I'm going to go take a look see what damage we did. Real nice to shoot. Trigger wasn't bad at all. Let's go see how we did. Welcome back. Now let's go through our first thoughts. So uh, this is Crossman 36200 year anniversary. Uh, normally the 362 comes in a composite stock for the 100 year anniversary edition. They did it in a uh, walnut, which is absolutely beautiful. Did a great job. The only things I've seen with mine, um, just been a a note by somebody else I remember uh, by Nibs. So there's just a spot back here. Uh, to me, not a big deal. Where they missed a little bit of sanding. I kind of like it because it adds character for me. Uh, it's number 1120. It is a 22 caliber, of about 36 inches long. It's a multi pump. Pumping action is nice and smooth, as you saw. A little bit of uh, tension right at the end. Bolt action. They put a pretty brass bolt on here. And when you look, the breech for the anniversary edition 
I mentioned it in the shooting, but the breech is actually doesn't have that screw that uh, drives people crazy. It's actually set further back so that you can put your pellets in without them catching and messing them up. Um, all in all, I'm super happy with it. The only real downside for me was that about a week after I got mine, they dropped prices. Um, so now they're three-fourths of the price that they were. Uh, but, you know, that happens sometimes. Not a big deal. I still love my gun. And uh, with the fiber optic and the Williams Peep, uh, great accuracy and uh, sight picture with it. It's not heavy. It is heavier than the 3622. Uh, after all, it does have that walnut. Uh, the composite might be lighter. I don't know. Because I don't have a regular 362 yet. Maybe one day. But uh, oh, shoulder's nice. Super comfortable. Uh, not heavy. Not a lot of work to pump. I've at this point, I've actually done everywhere from three to eight pumps for different shooting uh, scenarios. But uh, pumping's not bad. Pumping all the way up to those eight pumps wasn't bad. Did a great job with the shooting from... Uh, shot everywhere from 10 to 25 yards with it, and it's been great. Uh, it is a... Uh, safety is the cross bolt type. Uh, all in all, I can't complain. I think Crossman did a great job with this. I just wish they put this breach on all their guns. It'd make life easier for me. But I understand why not. Uh, so, those are my first shots, first thoughts. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you next time.